Welcome to my channel guys and yes, finally that day has arrived. I will be doing an album listening and this is Nam June's Indigo. Woo! Yes, yes, finally, finally. And I hopefully this video is not blocked and you are watching it on YouTube because nowadays I don't know why uh, the album reactions tend to get blocked. Uh, we'll see, we'll see when I edit and upload this, what happens. Uh, anyway, uh, so there are 10 tracks in this album, out of which I will be skipping two. <coughs> Sorry, because I've already watched it. So that is Still Life, which is the second song from this album. And the title track, which is Wildflower, which is the ninth track from this album. In fact, I have also listened to Yun, because I when I reacted to the Tiny Desk uh, home concert of June. So he performed Yun also. He performed Yun, Still Life uh, and Soul from his mixtape. Uh, so yeah, but I will, I want to listen to Yan uh, right now because uh, in the Tiny Desk concert, it was with the live band, but I want to listen to the actual instrumentals, uh, which are used in the official audio track. So yeah, all of these are going to be lyric video uh, reactions. So I don't want to deal with this any further. I just, I am just so looking for, I have not purchased the album yet because I want to do it next month. This month I've already done a lot of purchases because I bought Astronaut and all of that. So. I'm gonna, you know, uh, uh, like purchase it next month. Uh, so at least I also have something to look forward to. I don't want to purchase everything together. So yeah. Anyway, so uh, before I start, once again, uh, you know, the critic feedback of this album has been amazing. He has been promoting it also really, really well. I'm just very happy because you know a lot of people have said have said that he has literally bared his soul in this album like this album is made not with the intention of say charting because see charting the album is going to chart because it's it's now june and i'm pretty sure all the songs are bomb at least with young still life and wild flower though i know the songs are amazing uh but the thing is that the album has been in the May. this is not just something that he has put out just like that just for the heck of putting out an album this is four years of hard work uh and this is just, you know, it's a part of him, basically. It's a part of him. So I'm glad that he kind of uh, shared this part of him uh, with the world. And I cannot wait to listen to all the songs. So we're going to start with Yan and let us begin. I'm going to put the timestamps uh, for all the songs. Like you can just watch this at one go or you can skip to your favorite song and watch that reaction. So yeah, let us begin listening to Indigo. <laughs> So I, I know the I know this song, like I said, I know because in a, a, the Tiny Desk concert the translations were also given. Is it by that artist Yun? Because I, I really love uh, the thought when he was talking about the song in the uh, Tiny Desk uh, video that, uh, you know, he said the same thing, the artist said the same thing from which he has uh, made that line that you have to be a human first, you should be a human first before you are anything else. And that's such a great message I feel personally, not just for, um, not just for like generally uh, for someone who wants to per do something creative, like before doing any creative pursuits. But I feel that for every person, uh, 
just to understand that before anything before anything that you are in this world you are a human being and that's just you know just to strip your personality down at the end of the day you have to be human you have to be kind you have to be humble and empathetic that's the first thing that you have to be to actually then go ahead and conquer the world uh so i think that was a great message and uh, you know now you're taking inspiration from this particular artist and making a complete song around it that was just 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 beautiful and erica badu i mean she's she's a freaking legend so <laughs> now you nothing more to say the fact that he got her to can collab and she sang the hook for the song so beautiful also obviously the when i reacted to the live one <clears throat> she was not there and he said that she was supposed to be there but uh, the schedule could could not match so she couldn't be there but otherwise she would have been like accompanying him uh, but no problem so the i feel that this is i don't know i feel that somehow uh, his energy and erica's energy like as human beings they match a lot they match a lot uh, so for the fact that you know he actually got her to collaborate on his album uh, it's a great thing it's 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 legendary actually if you think about it if you just go through all the list of the collaborations that he has had i mean this album itself is just looking at the track list and the collaboration i i feel that oh my god this album is such a rich piece of art like it's not just an album this is this is this is expensive like this is priceless i wouldn't even say expensive like this is something which is priceless that has been gifted to by rm uh to us you know uh so beautiful and this the this is the starting song and i feel that it's just so it just takes you in that zone because june particularly said that i want you guys to listen to this album uh in order right so that you understand like the story uh, and you understand the journey basically so completely makes sense because you know the song which the theme of the song is that before anything you start anything or you do anything or anything you have to first understand that you are you should be human first you should be humble down first and then you go and go achieve whatever you know dreams you want to achieve and then he kind of spins it with his own story where he said that no when i was young so this was my dream and uh, my dream is still forbidden and all of those things and uh, he says and then the hook comes in says that you know you have to be silent before you do anything like take a moment uh, and uh, you know just absorb your surroundings and then you know act it's it's more like you know think before you actually act uh, so that's i feel a great message and it kind of talks about the calmness of the mind that you need to be really aware of your surroundings and aware of your own self uh, because actions matter in this world your actions do matter don't think that you know any action like every action will have a cascading effect uh, it's not like an independent action that you do in your life it somehow plays out in the universe in the grand scheme of things so the kind of philosophical if you ask me ha huh? the entire messaging if you see it in the big picture uh, it becomes really philosophical so yeah and then the second track is still life again whose message is so beautiful where you know you capture that moment again the theme and uh, namjoon when he talked about what made what inspired still life was uh, that painting where obviously it was it was the painting which was just you no know, still and the actual per, per painting the actual object that has withered it was a vase of flowers right it has withered and you know uh, it's not in existence anymore but that moment was captured by the painter so it's it has traveled generations and it is still alive so that, i feel that just the inspiration was so beautiful and it's such a fun funky beautiful song so i feel it just it kind of uh, the album is probably going to take us through this full journey where in life also you have the highs and the lows uh, and similarly this album is also going to connect various emotions with us and we will also understand that no this is what the journey of life is all about it's not just one constant emotion it's it's going to be everything it's a mixture of everything and that is what makes the overall the journey of the life so beautiful and you learn so much from it so obviously still life with anderson park i'm going to skip uh, i'm going to move on to the third track which is called all day with tablo and this is also going to be a lyric video i mean all our lyric video reactions only guys so let's just into the song <laughs>
he's a poet for me Just like if i think of yungi for me first he's the producer you know in my head that's the highest regard that i hold him to like for others it would be something else so it's like for a hobby for hobby for me overall performer you know stage presence wise and all that's the highest category that i put him in you know so this is what i see namjoon as but for me namjoon is like a poet at that point like you know, i see him as a poet as an artist like you know who has amazing thoughts that he can pen down those thoughts beautifully so whenever i look at a song which is of his the first thing i look at is the lyricism uh and obviously i cannot appreciate the lyricism fully because i'm not able to kind of decipher the rhyme scheme and the entendres because i don't know the language so i depend on the translation and that's the maximum extent i can appreciate the lyricism uh but his rap i feel at this point the way he raps the way he expresses himself all of those things i mean we all know he's good at that we all know he's good at that so i i think for me right now when i'm listening to the song my my reaction is more to the theme of the song and overall how the song is making me feel and uh, I, i'm not really technically listening to it i'm more emotionally listening to it like i know because he's a rapper i should be technically listening to oh flow switches okay his cadence and all of that but i'm not getting into that so this this is my reaction is not technical my reaction is more i think on the emotional side this time so that's i feel like i should make that clear so that we're all on the same page so yeah beautiful all day i'm going to move on to the next track right now which is forgetful with kim sawal uh and i don't know who she is i mean you can let me know i don't know these artists uh that well so obviously you guys can let me know so okay let's uh listen to this song so considering uh, the first three tracks uh because you know the track before this was more like self reflection and finding yourself this is forgetful like is this a song where i don't know if it's about oh if you don't do anything in life people are going to forget you or you know you should do something that people remember you through generations and i don't know what is about okay it could be a very personal song also so Ah, okay. This is more personal. This is more personal. Like him being forgetful. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, acoustic. Is this a fully acoustic song? Because if it is, I love it. Because I don't want any beats. But uh, you know, maybe there are. But I. This is. This is the vibe. If this is the entire vibe, I don't mind that. Oh, and he's singing. Oh my God! I want to start this again, guys. I want to start this again because it's so beautiful. He sounds amazing. What? Oh, nice. This is so like me. I to forget what happened yesterday. Why can't you catch him on time? My my husband to calls me Gajni. Wow, what a line! What a line! In my own way, I am anesthetizing myself. What a line! Like he's becoming now. You know, see, this is what I talk about. Him being a poet, see, there's a way. See, either you can say I am numbing myself, or you can say I am anesthetizing myself. You know, it's the way you say. That's why for me, Namjoon first is a poet. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. This is the when you're walking through the park. You just play the song, that song. I found my song guys. I found my song. 
This is the song, Forgetful. Woo! Oh man. Oh, I love this. This really touched my heart, guys. This this really touched my heart. Oh, this is so, this, the lyrics are the most relatable for me. Like I, I go through these thoughts. I actually go through these thoughts. I feel lyric wise, this is the most relatable song for me, guys. This is the most relatable song for me. And just the whole vibe of this song. This is like, you know, right now, and it's winters in Delhi, you can see path and me having this warm uh, cup of green tea. And this is exactly the song that you want to play while looking outside. Like I can see the view outside from here, right? Uh, because the balcony is here and the window is here. So it's like the song is playing and I'm looking outside and I'm just, yeah, yes, yes, I'm going through this. I'm going through this. This is this song. Both of them sounded amazing. Namjoon's singing voice is so freaking underrated. And you know, he has the kind of voice which is very comforting. Namjoon, Namjoon's rap voice is though on another level. Let's not even go there. But I feel his singing voice has a sense of comfort because it's not very polished. See, Namjoon is not a singer, right? So, you know, he is not trained as a singer. So his voice is not very polished in terms of, you know, putting notes and stuff like that. Like, you know, his voice is not technically superior as a singer, but the way his voice is, it's very raw and, you know, it's 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 very real in that sense. You know, it's very raw and it'll feel like oh, someone real is talking to you. Like, it's just, you know, somebody, you know, is sitting with a buddy and, you know, he's jamming and you're just listening to it. It's that. Namjoon's voice is that. There's a sense of comfort that his singing voice brings and I love it. I love it. Woo! I found my song. I think I found my song. I'll, I'll uh, rank the songs uh, in, in the end, in the end. But I feel this one, oh, wow, forgetful. This is to me. I feel this is my song. This is me. He's singing about me. Amazing, amazing. And Kim Saul, uh, she was amazing. Both of them, when they harmonized together, it was great. This was, this was very warm and beautiful. Like this, this was like a warm cup of tea uh, in this cold winter. This song is that warm cup of tea. Oh, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, we're going to move on to the fifth song uh, from this album, which is called Closer uh, with Paul Blanco and Bahalia. And let's listen to this. I get a feeling sometimes that I can't get close enough to you. I feel it most in the nighttime. Ooh. Even though that's when I'm closest to you, if I could be under. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a... Is this the kind of song that I'm thinking it is? Is it a romantic, sexy, sensuous song? We finally have the song like this in the album. Because I'm so gonna dig it. If I could be under your skin closer than we have ever been, we'd be closer than we have been. I, I don't think there's any other meaning to this line than what it is written. Huh, guys? Pride, baby. Once again, you made me misplace my pride, baby. Oh, 
Spotlight to Paul in this. Now you literally give that spotlight to Paul in this. This is literally the words of the song, guys. Huh? I'm pretty sure this song probably became an instant favorite of a lot of. This the vibe is so. Mm, I like. Amazing song, guys. Amazing song. pronounce her name correctly Mahalia Mahalia oh man it's like his I swear this song I need to listen to the song live with all three of them performing this live all three of them performing this live and I swear I feel that when the song was getting composed and arranged I am pretty sure Naojun told Paul that you know you are you are stealing this song. Like this is your song. He probably would have said that you know I am sidelining myself. This is your song. His verse when he started singing his verse just took the song to another level. This is he for me. He's the winner of the song. Paul carried this song completely. Like he just he just got the vibe out of the song. Pinpoint, lovely, lovely closer. Oh. I'm so happy there's a song like this, you know, and this is what you kind of go through like, oh, so relatable when you're in your 20s, huh? actually in your 30s also, depending on which stage of life you are. Huh? Is I feel the song is kind of ageless. It feels to me like that because, you know, I, I you know, when you feel a love so intense like this, when you feel a love so intense like this, like, you know, uh, that line of Paul at the end, he said that if... If all I have is your love, that's all I need. I don't even need to touch you. If, if your love is all I need. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Lovely. Claps. Claps. What to even say? The music, the vibe, the just the mood that the song set right now. That's the mood that the song. I'm pretty sure this is a favorite of a lot of people. This song probably is a favorite of a lot of people. Let me know which is your favorite track from indigo i would love to know that i would love to know that this and i love that all three vocals like june's vocals like i said before also his vocal is like he's not technically superior as a vocalist but he has this rawness in his vocals which makes it sound very real he so it's considered his vocals which is so raw mahalia you know gets that you know takes the song to a very trancy level and then paul comes in with his sensuous voice and just kills it so three very distinct vocals you can hear in this song and they came in together and made this amazing collaboration and just just made a killer song made a killer 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 song oh amazing amazing Whew. i don't know man i don't know like oh you know and if you consider okay this is this is kind of namjoon giving us a glimpse into his life or his diary so this is the kind of emotion like imagine i am just thinking in the sense oh at some point of time he felt this for someone i mean we don't know who but he kind of felt this for someone there was this intense emotion that he felt for someone and then that person was like went away oh man that would have hurt so bad that would have hurt so bad like imagine feeling so it's feeling so much in love and being in love you know having these strong feelings for somebody and then that doesn't get reciprocated yeah it's the worst feeling ever so i feel very bad i mean if, if i'm just considering because he only said and that is why i have this assumption that this is the last archive of his 20s so 
I am I think I am right in assuming that he he had this feelings for someone like these intense strong feelings and then it kind of didn't work out in a way but oh I feel bad also but the fact that he gave us a song like this of what he used to feel uh, at one point of time in his life I'm I'm thankful also in a way that okay thanks for sharing Juno thanks for sharing oh okay now we're going to move on to the sixth track of this album this is Change Part Two so I know he had a song Change a long back that was a collaboration uh, so I'm guessing I have I have not given a listen to that song uh, it's an older song uh, so this is Part Two and I don't know if this is a rendition of that particular song I would not know because I've not listened to the first one so you guys can let me know. and but this is his like he's only one featuring like there's no other feature on the song so yeah let's listen to this thanks change people change everything change yeah the song is less than 2 minutes thanks change people okay. change everything change mm-hmm. this is like a realization song that all all in the soul is not beautiful people will backstab you people who claim that they are your friends they are actually not your friends or circumstances change and they change people's perspective so and you also change over time this kind of i i can kind of relate it to persona in a way if you personally relate to it like what you were 5 years back probably your thinking has kind of changed that's the world shut yeah oh, i'm on there for not that anymore okay fuck that week you fuck all those of us What is strange I don't know this for Okay My god His cadence is so unique in this Like I don't know he sounds a little High Sounds a little drunk Huh I don't know how he made that cadence Okay And then you're not tough You can't love someone like I do That's all I can say to you. This was such a weirdly awesome song. I think this was just to put a point across. I think Naoju just made this is you can kind of I feel this is kind of like an interlude uh to the album. I feel this is an interlude. Uh, it could not be but it felt to me that this was like an interlude and uh you know I I was like I just feel that This song is supposed to make you feel a little bit strange because the way he sang, kind of sang it, uh, you know, and his cadence was weird. Even the melody, if you see, of the song is kind of weird. The music is weird. There's a lot of weirdness going on in the song. So my first instinct is that okay, this is the kind of behavior that you do after you have been really, really hurt by someone or you feel betrayed by someone. That could be anybody. It could be a person you were in love with, a friend that you were very close to, someone you looked up to, someone you thought was your uh, guide or your friend or your well wisher, and they just suddenly, you know, switch sides or change faces or whatever. And the kind of industry that he is in, firstly, though, uh, BTS within the industry. Is, is probably not like that much because they they have the most inspiring rags to riches story basically and uh, if you consider the other uh, K-pop entertainment uh, agencies the big three I'm pretty sure the heads over there are not very happy with the way Hive has just grown uh, as a company in front of their eyes and surpassing and you know the kind of achievements that BTS has achieved worldwide. <coughs> so they and they have also uh, kind of mentioned it that they don't have a lot of friends in the industry so uh, uh, within the industry like in the k-pop uh, field which is understandable and i think initially probably the people that they looked up to uh, they did not i mean they turned out to be not those good people so i am seeing that in that kind of context also where he is kind of seeing the kind of achievement that he has done and how people surroundings have changed accordingly then another aspect to this is that how he has changed probably he had, and like i said uh, i know what kind of statements namjoon has given in the past and uh, even i don't agree to them and the kind of change that i have seen him as a person like 
him grow as a person that makes me hopeful that no people people can change of uh, change uh, their own perspectives they learn they grow they evolve i think that is why he has said for the interviews the wiki and all of that i don't recognize that person maybe he is talking about himself there so i feel this is more to do with kind of uh the people around him in the, specifically in the industry uh how everything like changed for him with the changes that got him to the footing that where he is right now as bts's rm basically so this is how i see the song so it's very weird it's it's it, the song is made in a weird way it sounds weird that's like i said na like this you kind of you know sound like it kind of sound like like when you are drunk or probably high beaten down it sounds like that so that's very interesting and that's why i feel this is the interlude of this album okay uh, because if you see the song still now they very uh because the song after this is lonely and then it is hectic and then wild flower so wild flower i know is a very deep heavy song so i don't know why i am feeling that after this point all the songs are pretty like heavy in terms of their lyrics like the songs before this were more like closer was going into that sad zone even though it's very vibey but still going into that sad zone but all the other songs about that were more self reflecting and you know they were more like finding yourself and kind of contemplating and you know sailing through life uh, and understanding what life is but then with closer and change there is a sense of realization that all is not hunky dory in this world and i feel that the songs after this is going to be in a more is going to take a more mature and dark turn this is what my guess is that's why i think he said please listen to it in a uh, sequence let's see how lonely is the next song uh, is lonely this is also uh, there's no feature in the song it's done by now june only let's listen to this oh okay i'm fucking lonely sorry it's just the melody of the song and the instrumentals like i don't know i just got goosebumps i just got goosebumps right now that's why i paused i was like i was just feeling something inside me oh uh, no joe no please stop doing these things to my heart i'm fucking lonely like i don't need i don't need any more reasons to fall in love with the guy i already love him so much Literally, oh. See, that's why in the beginning only I felt this goosebump because this was my 
subconscious mind or something telling me that uh, this is going to be your favorite song so that's why that's why I got that feeling initially only i think Song. I'm sorry, the song is 
I think this song is for not just now, this is for all of us. This is for all of us. And I feel me being in my 30s, I, I feel this more. Uh, because you know, as you grow older, you you understand, like you, you will, it will happen to you also. Like who are in college right now, as you grow older, you go through your 20s and your 30s, you will start filtering out your friends. You will start filtering out your friends on your own. You will know who you resonate with the most and you, who you don't resonate with and who you want in your life, who's sucking the energy out of you. It'll happen to you guys also. Like take it from someone who is going to turn 35 next year. Take it from someone like me. So yeah, that happens. That happens. But I, I can also assure you that you just need that one person. If you have that one friend also, just one friend with whom you can just be yourself, talk without judgment, you're sorted. You really are sorted. So yeah, you'll be lucky enough to get one. Like, not just a friend where, ha, chalo, bahar chalte hai, we go, we'll chill and all. That one friend with whom you can just, just be. Just be that, no, when I am with you, I just, I can just be myself fully. No judgments whatsoever. You just find, find that one person. You are sorted. You are sorted. So yes, beautiful song. I think this will end up being my favorite one. So uh, now the eighth track from this uh, album is called Hectic, which feel, uh, features... Now, how do you pronounce this? Do you pronounce this as cold, uh, his name? Or do you pronounce it as cold day, coldy? I'm just going to pronounce it as cold for now. Okay. Uh, so the song's called Hectic. Let's listen to this. Ooh. This has a beat, I think. Yes, that was a hard time. That was not the matter. Okay. If I took a tone and then Okay. Ooh. ooh, this has the ooh, I love this vibe. This has a little bit of the 80s vibe. I love that. Totally reminding me of 80s. 80s pop. Yes, I was a The instrumentals, man. The instrumentals win this hobby. We still love and hate the city. Oh, it just ends like this. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised that this song. I'm kind of surprised that this song is not called Soul 2.0. Like how the song is called change to change part two this song should be called soul part two because it's it's mostly resonating the same feeling mostly it's resonating the same feeling if not exactly but you know city life is like that from of course uh you know coming from somewhere somewhere like mumbai where i would say delhi is still a little bit chill with its environment like delhi is more uh, at least compared to Mumbai, Delhi is more laid back. Like people here, what I've realized is that people in Delhi, uh, here, over here, Delhi, NCR, overall, they take out time to have fun. Like they know how to have fun, they know how to chill, take a moment, relax a little bit. That was not the case in Mumbai. Everybody's like in a rush and it's, you know, people think that it's a stereotype, but it's not because life over there is like that. If there's so much population, uh, you have to fight for your, like if you're not good at your job, somebody else is going to come and take it away. Uh, you are replaceable in the industry and it's, it's, it's very fast paced. You just don't even know how your day just starts and ends. It's like that. So I feel that the song kind of resonated. It felt a little bit similar to soul for me. I could be wrong, but it kind of felt a little bit similar to soul for me. Like how, uh, where he's living, how you know, his life is like that. I, oh, I've met people, people, people. Like, I'm done for the day, man. Like, I, I, throughout the day, I'm meeting so many people. The life is hectic. And uh, 
she would also like to have a moment with himself which the city life or the life of a celebrity in a city like seoul uh, it doesn't give you and i i don't think it's just for him just because he's a celebrity i feel technically people who live in big cities like this they really don't get the time uh, even if like you're doing a five day job or a six day job your weekend just goes in a flash so this is this felt more like that to me i could be totally wrong i could have interpreted the song wrong but it feels to me like that it feels to me like that so anyway we have come to the end of this album listening because i've already listened to wildflower uh and it's a beautiful song i'm going to end this with the 10th track which is called number 2 with park jiun and uh, let's listen to this His voice has a different level of comfort I feel. Do not say on the sky. Could and on could it tick your haji ya. Na. He's any mare or she. I told you body night from so. Don't you know why the lad don't be always dangle. Could what a line. Put an all in the age and we jump it all child of will in my not got the child talk my balloon filled with myself explode and after the explosion it's i find out that it's empty oh that is such a good line like the metaphor behind that 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 line That's why I said it feels like a goodbye song. That you'll be okay moving forward. Don't look back. Move forward. also good message for us to also take uh not just you know saying uh goodbye to your 20s specifically i'm just saying that with reference to namjoon but generally it's a good message to keep moving forward don't look back like what has happened take that as a lesson and move forward so i think that's a good lesson overall good song to end with can back no no looking back no No looking back don't look back no more no looking back no no looking back it's any gun no check your trigger wow this was a great way to end now huh? this was a great way to end woo that ends the album oh man How long has it been? Has it been over one hour? I feel so. I don't know. I'll sit for editing and then I'll understand. Uh, but this was a beautiful album, and I think the way the this thing ends, I love. I was wondering how the album is going to end. Like, what is going to be the ending message? How is he going to say close the chapter of his twenties? And I think this was the perfect song and the perfect lyrics to close it with, and just the whole album. How do you make ten such amazing songs? Like this is literally a no-skip album, so beautiful. And this is, well, at least I also consider myself as an old soul, so I feel more connected emotionally to the album. Like I said, I'm not, I I did not listen even listen to the album from a technical standpoint of his progress as a singer or as a rapper. This was much more. like I, i was emotionally getting more connected to him i listened to the album with my heart and like i said uh this album is a really good balance of namjoon's heart plus his mind it shows his intelligence as a poet as an artist shows his evolution shows his struggles shows his emotions he has bared his soul for us and i think we should as armies be very proud that you know bts has seven such talented members who bring so much individually to the table and they make this amazing group together uh 
who has that you know all of them have individually so much to offer and i'm really really proud of each and every member of this group for their achievements and you know how they have kind of navigated through the hate through the struggles through the you know the uh, exponential fame you know staying humble and you know all seven of them have their own way of dealing with things and i feel that's why i feel proud feel proud of all seven of them because they are all distinct minds and if you throw them in the same situation all seven will react in different seven different ways but as a group they have such a synergy so i am very very proud of namjoon for this album because he literally bared his soul he gave us a glimpse uh, into his emotions and uh, you know when i watch his live sometimes the recent ones i want to say he looks so tired oh my god like sometimes i look at his eyes and they just feel they just feel empty to me and i personally feel very very sad and i just hope he has someone in his life a friend or a partner or whoever i i just hope he has someone in his life because that's why i feel when i listen to the heard the song lonely it just it just hit me in a different way so i really wish he has someone in his life and he can just bear his soul and just talk to that person you know without judgments because the entire world is judging him the entire world is just judging him uh left right and center so that must be very difficult and he him being the leader of the group that adds kind of an extra pressure on him so he has to be more mature and more calm and more cool because of the position that he is in as the leader of bts so i just hope he has someone in his life where he can just be namjoon he just he just has to be kim namjoon with that person and not rm of bts so thank you so much namjoon to uh, you know for giving us this beautiful album uh and uh, i am so very proud of them and this is such a beautiful beautiful gift for the armies uh i think my favorite song from is so difficult to choose a favorite but i feel in the first listen i would say lonely is definitely my top pick from this um uh, second would be forgetful uh third would be definitely closer i think closer while far and still life can change like positions like this would these would be my top 5 uh so lonely uh, forgetful closer uh, wild flower and still life these five songs i want to know your top 5 picks or top 3 picks whatever or top pick from this particular album uh, and yes i hope you guys enjoyed this listening with me i had a lot of fun this was a great great album an amazing song something that uh, at least one song is there for all of us to relate to bare minimum one song i'm saying uh and yeah that was the reaction i hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, video and i'm going to sign off from this video right now share your thoughts in the comments and i will sign off now and i'll see you soon on my next video bye bye you are the cause of my euphoria